So it appears that Royalty's boyfriend, Rico, whose real name is Damon Arnett, has been indicted on assault charges. So according to ESPN News, ex-NFLer Damon Arnett indicted in Vegas Hotel Valet gun case. So I did receive a copy of that indictment and he was indicted on May 12th. Now he's been charged with assault with a deadly weapon. So now I do wanna read this article. It says a grand jury indicted Arnett last week on charges stemming from an incident on January 28th, 2022. According to KLAS in Las Vegas, police say that when Arnett couldn't find his valet ticket after parking at a hotel and the staff asked him for other information to prove he was the owner of the car, he responded by producing a gun and taking the keys. Six months after the incident, prosecutors dropped the charges without explanation. Now the grand jury has charged Arnett again. So he's not in jail right now, but he is due to appear in court at the end of May. At that time, they'll decide if he will go to jail or not while he's fighting this case. Now, Rico has been dropping videos on YouTube speaking on the situation with CJ. I ain't apology. And only because <laughs> you explaining yourself to a fan. Now, speaking of CJ, people are wondering why CJ hasn't posted a YouTube video in about four days. Now, CJ did respond to a comment that asked, CJ so cool, why you not bringing videos out? What's going on? Everybody wants to know, why you not bringing no videos? CJ responds with, since my video didn't get the views I hoped for, I'm going back to the lab to draw up something bigger. Now he normally posts videos with the twins and he didn't even post videos with them last weekend when he had them. Now Realty shared in her video that something went down with Dea and she had to go to the urgent care while she was at CJ's house. Fun weekend, the twins also had a fun weekend. Um, I had a little scare, I can honestly say that, but everything is good now. But I did have a big scare of my life because Cordelia, she had to go to the urgent care less than 24 hours of their visit. So, um, kind of had like a little scare, but uh, everything's great now, so no worries. Still going through the learning process, as you guys know, so. And <laughs> so now let's move on to this next topic with Ray and Lindasia. Now, Ray recently went onto Twitter and stated, I hate my ex be effing with all you lames, making y'all feel special. I just want y'all to know we are not on the same level and never will be. So stop comparing yourselves to me. The F y'all be smoking. And this ain't to be messy. I'm tired of seeing y'all talk about me. Keep my name out y'all mouth straight up. People started telling her to delete that tweet. And she says, what the F make y'all think? I give a F about social media gonna have to say. I'm still gonna say what I want, do what I want, stand on how I feel. Regardless, y'all on the outside looking in and genuinely don't know the half. Remember that always and that's all I'ma say. Then someone tags her girlfriend and states, you need to leave her. Ray responds with, I'm the catch, remember that. So then Lindasia tweets, and the gag is, and someone responds with, keep going, I need some entertainment. Lindasia says, there's no entertainment here. She isn't lying. That's the funny part. So Lindasia is agreeing with Ray's tweet that all of her exes are lames and they don't compare to her. Hmm. Anyways, Lindasia also went live on TikTok. Now, I did get this clip from So Real Tea. So you guys head over to her channel to watch the full live. But this is some of the things that Lindasia had to say about the whole situation with Ray. Anyways, you guys leave your opinions on everything in this video down in the comment section below. I feel like people just come into my life now because they know who I am and they know who I used to go with. And most of these these studs and stuff be really fans of my ex and they just be trying to 
to see if they can get me, if that makes sense. Oh, okay. I see what you said, Kins. Okay. But yeah. So yeah, I'm just like really over. But honestly, my life has been so peaceful for the past like five days. I ain't gonna have been five days. But I've been so happy and yeah, I don't feel like it'd be genuine. And then I feel like, cause I've seen people in my XDMs. So I've seen, you know, like, yes, yes, you know, Friday, like, I ain't gonna lie. I'm just so, I'm just so like, uh, right now in my life, it feels like, it feels like a home. It's been five days, y'all. It's been five days since I've been this happy. Because Kenzie know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kenzie, we got to talk about it. Um, The retrograde just ended. Yeah, because I feel like during that time. No, and then honestly... You know, I'm not even going to say that because you got to peep. Oh, this big mob, you're going to have to really peep this because this is something that. uh, But no. That's not I've been single for like five months. And honestly. I've tried out the dating. It didn't work. I tried out meeting new people. It didn't work. I tried out a lot of shit. It didn't work. So now guess what? It's a girl or a dude. It's a female. Yeah, it's just not working out for me. And I'm just not afraid to say it. It's just not working out for me. Mm-mm. I said I'm not. Da- That's the thing. Honestly, I don't know what I'm calling this, but it's not dating. It's not talking to. You know, I don't know what I. I don't know what I'm calling it. Because if it's up to me, I'm kind of home a girlfriend. But see, and I'm just having fun now. I'm done. I'm actually done having fun. I mean, okay. <laughs> yeah, we're just vibing. I mean, what? Okay. You're right. Whatever. Yes, we're just vibing. I can say that. Yes, y'all are. <laughs> We're just back.